Hi and welcome to the touch screen part of my 3D printer. Here's the first initial screen. Well, we'll touch the system screen and then we'll can go to info which gives you the X and the Y and the Z also give you the room temperature of the nozzle the bed temperature of the room which is a bit more spaced out so you can go more that way we'll go back the touch sensor is quite responsive go to about it's about it's also got hasn't got the Wi-Fi but it's got the button there for it anyway then we go back then we've got the tools there's tools and there's the offsets which I won't touch and there's the manual you can alter the manual, you can extrude extrude, destrude, whatever, Z and down and all the old and you've got also the increments you can put in there as well and that's the filament which you can extrude as much as you like on that one by pressing up and pressing down and you go back and there's your level you can select auto or hand level or cancel you just press cancel you don't need that anyway you can also control the fan speeds there is no light on this but it says there is but there isn't No manual, go back. There's also preheat, go back. Need level, cancel again. We've also done that. There's the system. This tap adjust. There's the tap adjust screen, what I first showed you on the video. What you do is you press that cross there, and then go across to that cross there if you can just see it and that cross there calibration ok would you like to test so we go to test and click yes so if you can't see it ok but yes is on this side so click there yeah click this and then we do loads of little tiny dots you'll get loads of little tiny dots by pressing across like that just to recognize your finger on the t where you're pressing on the, the pad so there's loads of little dots can you see them right and then press red screen for ok then it says calibration ok would you like to save so we click yes and that's it and then you just go back to info and then that shows you everything again and default then wifi and back and then press back and then if you press print it will bring up the SD card which is on the side which is working but the files what was inside the SD card wasn't working so I deleted them anyway so you put them in there that's all the system volume then that's the other file but what you really want is the G code files when you've put them on your SD card using from the laptop you put them in the SD card and then you can print from the SD card which that brings up a little tiny picture sorry about the light but you can see the pitch there's no picture there but there's a cube in the middle you can also delete it from here and then you can that's how when you press that one there that's how you print straight away and you just press back because we don't want to print anything but if you like that tiny little bit of tutorial how to use a twitch screen for the very first time please can you give this a big thumbs up and stay subscribed thanks for watching